It's the program. We're on TV. <laughs> oh, once again, once again, every day, we're on the machines. And live forever. Here we go. Life. Liberty. Trying to live, you know. I don't want to pursue anything. The pursuit of happiness. You're never gonna find it. Not happiness itself, but just the pursuit. It's uh Wednesday. I got a teriyaki bowl. I'm gonna eat it here. People milling around down there. I saw all of them. I also saw this guy he was talking to me. Yeah, I'm not, uh, and he he was spitting. Like, why are you spitting so much? He was spitting a lot. Uh, you ever you ever seen that before? It's a, it's a bit much. Could have gone without seeing that early. Uh, and the, this morning, though, when I got on the bus, so the guy gets on the bus next to me, and he's carrying three heavy bags that he's struggling to get onto the bus, and it's like, what is on the bus, bud? What's on this? What are you taking with you? And <laughs> where are you going? Because unless you're going somewhere that's right next to the bus, you're gonna have a hard time. But. I guess this guy already got to the bus in the first place. So well, maybe you're not gonna have such a hard time. How did you carry your things all the way to the bus from wherever you started? And what? What's in the bags? I don't know what it was, but he was like, it was so heavy that he was like, ah. Oh. I think he was partially dragging the bags. I don't know. Hopefully, it wasn't corpses. I really didn't consider that it could be corpses until right now, but now I'm thinking about it. Maybe it was corpses. Maybe it was actual like weights, like weightlifting weights. Things are designed to be heavy. Oh, what it could have been. What what's so what's the thing that you're gonna take that's so heavy? That you're gonna take three large bags with. All in the box. But he was definitely a crazy guy. Since we're on the bus he's trying to go. Talk to people about weird things, so who knows what was in those bags. Maybe I should have asked, but at the time I didn't really want to talk to them. And he was being annoying. Trying to talk to everybody else, so I didn't want to encourage him. Also, it's kind of nutty business, you know. And from, uh, hey, what's in the bag? And then he'd be like, blah, 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 blah. Or he'd be like, it's a corpse. I'm like, oh, no, now I'm involved. Well, buddy, where'd you get the corpse, huh? Hopefully he was the same. Nat natural causes. Hey, uh, so when, when was that corpse uh, not a corpse and it was a person? Well, it's okay. It was natural causes. Oh, okay, good. Hey, so that uh, corpse in the bag, uh, how'd that, how'd that get there? Well, how'd that happen? Well, natural causes. And just go with it, I guess. I would go with it because I wouldn't want to deal with it. And say, you know what? I'm going with it. Going with it because I don't want to deal with it. 
don't know what kind of sauce this is. Is it teriyaki sauce? It's not straight up soy sauce. It might be teriyaki sauce. I don't know what's in teriyaki sauce. Probably some soy sauce. Oh, yeah, I think. Soy sauce, sugar, maybe vinegar. I think that might be it actually. What are the ingredients? I'm trying to think about the teriyaki in, in California. I heard it's a Northwest thing, teriyaki. But, uh, might be a, oh. Uh, is it in other places? They have it? They have a lot of them here. Every block. It's like, is there more teriyaki or more McDonald's around here? See if I can name all the McDonald's in Thurston County. Starting with, uh, well, unless we go south to north, if I can. I'm pretty sure the farther south one is in Yom. Is Yom farther south than Tim Water? I think it is. So there's Yom, and there's Tim Water McDonald's, and then there's that first West Side McDonald's next to, uh, Top Foods. And there's your other West Side McDonald's. We got Downtown McDonald's. Uh, after that. And then. Probably. Cedar Kenny McDonald's. And then. Uh, Pacific McDonald's. And then Hawks Prairie McDonald's. I think that's all of them. So that's eight. I think there's eight, at least uh, eight. Uh, uh, McDonald's in the in Thurston County that I can think of. I'm trying to think if there's any other ones that I'm missing out. It's only one in all of Tumwater. This is the one that's like on the main road, but there's no, no McDonald's like out there by Costco and stuff. Maybe there's not. Because they're on the west side, they're like right next to each other. And lots of other places right next to each other, too. So, I'm going with eight. That's the number. Now, karaoke places, right? There's, uh, probably some I don't even know about. Panda Express serves teriyaki, but does it count? I don't think so. But we definitely got Happy Teriyaki up there. In some water. I think there's a teriyaki place in Yelm. Let's just say there's one. There probably is. And if you want, anyway. So we got the Tim Water one, and on the west side. Ah, oh, teriyaki on the west side. Well, there's Happy Teriyaki next to the mall. And that's it. Seems like there'd be more teriyaki over there, but I can't think of another one. Oh, Koibito. Koibito's teriyaki. So we got after Eric's Central Water and then the two on the west side for sure and then maybe the one in, in Yum. Oh, there's one in Yum. It's next to uh Um Goodwill and Burger King. So that's we're at four. Uh Tim Water and then the west side. And then downtown we got uh Fuji. 
And then we got the other happy teriyaki. That's what, at five now we're at five and then we're going in this downtown area. Is that all of them? Is lemongrass teriyaki? Uh then we got uh Lacey. We got that happy teriyaki on uh college. We got uh that one by Tom Water Safeway. We got, uh, oh, we're about to pass it. There's the one out there by, uh, oh, I think there's another McDonald's. I didn't talk about those one on Yum Highway, too. So we got nine McDonald's now. But we still got that, the, the, the teriyaki place out there in by Yum. And then we got, uh, uh, the Hawks Parade. There's one, two, three. So I think teriyaki is beating it out. There's more teriyaki in in, in restaurants at least in uh, Thurston County than McDonald's, but that's like one restaurant. There's more, definitely more hamburger places. But still, lots and lots of teriyaki, and they all seem to be doing pretty well. It's open. But I can't remember the last time I. Teriyaki place shut down. Let's see, it started. I mean, it maybe at least 12 in the first encounter. Single the last week. I go through the way, you see that? Where are you last week? Oh, here you are. Oh, Wednesday. When did we get the uh, uh, new Tyler? Uh, hey. hey, everybody, it's the program. Hey, program. program. Once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machine and start living for an hour and then forever and then another hour. Hello, January 23rd. Are you there? Well, hello. Farther off future and hello tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. Hello tomorrow. You know, all the tomorrow. You say tomorrow and you say, well, I'm going to do tomorrow. But what do you mean? Like, like grand tomorrow? Like tomorrow, you know, tomorrow land from Disneyland there. Talking it's, tomorrow. It's the future. They're talking way out. Way farther out than just tomorrow, like regular tomorrow. They're like, Future Even tomorrow. when is it? Oh Whoa. no! Don't well, eat that! Let's see how this thing is. Three. I got that crazy bowl. The the $3 bowl, they say it's a pound of food. That's their big. Uh, it messes you up. Advertisement for this thing. And you know, I'm hungry, but it's smelling pretty good so far. This is a shovel. Your faithful food bowl. Uh, it make they you, call it. Give you a cough bowl. I don't know what they call it. They just call it the bowl. But it's, you know, what can I expect? They give you a quick disease. Pound? This seems pretty heavy. But maybe there's a lot of water weight in the gravy. But food is. I think this is the one where Freddy shows up. Water, right? Is food mostly water? Plants are probably mostly water. We're mostly water, right? I mean, something like that. Ninety-eight percent water. That doesn't seem right. It's over fifty, though. But maybe it is. I know I've gone through this in the past. It's not a new subject on the program. Like the the, the percentages, where, like <laughs> where the water goes. 
the corn is pretty insane. The corn really steps it up. I'm used by corn, huh? Food. Like, without the corn, it's like questionably food. Somebody said, you gotta eat your vegetables. And I said, well, what about this corn? I think you should continue to question. Because You're gonna eat that bowl, the three pound, or the three dollars, it's like three dollars for one pound, so it's like a third of a pound for a dollar. But they said, uh, you're gonna eat that thing, what about vegetables? And what about corn? And actually, I mean, is corn a vegetable? Definitely a starch. Can it be both though? Like peas. I don't know what constitutes a vegetable. I mean, pea uh, pods. The pods are definitely vegetables, right? Like green beans. Green beans are vegetables, and those are beans, but peas. Are green beans even beans? Green beans is like the pod of the bean that you eat. But where's the pod of a, a lima bean? Oh, soybeans, they have those pods. Oh, and you can eat yeah, them. Kidney beans. Edamame. You just eat the beans straight up. No, don't eat that food, and then yeah. treat you good. You got better food today, teriyaki. You can eat some of the pod. There's that hard part of the pod, but on the outside, there's like the kind of almost hairy part of the bean pod. And that part you can eat, and I do eat that part sometimes. Pretty good part. It's like uh, the... Uh, what do you call that part? Pod. You know, the pod. The pod part. The pod pea pod. The, the soybean pod. It's on the pod. On the outside. There's like a couple layers. I don't know if anybody's ever had this stuff before. Edamame. But there's like the the beans, you know, on the inside, and there's like, well, there's like that weird coating on beans, so you know beans have like a skin? Beans again. Comes from inside out. On the very inside is the actual bean part. Mm. It's like the two halves of the bean when you cut it open, or when you're eating it. Yeah, mess them like against you. Get them out of the skin, then you have that skin. And you have the two halves of the bean. It's like, a, it's like a brain. Bean brain. I'm pretty sure your brain has that, uh... Bean brain. skin on it, too. It's like, a The blood brain blur... Blood brain blur 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 the baby bear bird bear again. Kind of like it. Between there, aren't those, those beans are smart. Smartest plant. It's like, what? You know, plants. Plants in general. Not very smart. But what is the smartest plant? Venus fly traps. Um, people would think there was that, that fly eater, but. Well, slow down plants. You watch those time lapse videos. Yeah. Sped up plants, plants tend like to like move towards resources. I think that they just live in another time dimension than us. Real slow, real slow. Like, you why, know how, uh, why are you going so slow? Animals. They see in different frame rates than we do. Yeah. Like. Cats and dogs used to not be able to watch TV. Um, kind of TVs I have here. When we get cats and dogs here, they're confused. They're like, why are you looking at that screen that with lines on it? It always just looked like crazy lines to them. Crazy but lines. Recently, with these kind of newfangled TVs, the cats and dogs, they can see the TVs now. Those... It's a much faster, I think, refresh rate or something, whatever they call it. Well, I don't know, this is Mr. Ginsey message. Uh, it's not plugged in correctly. I'm gonna find all the, the wires again. I think it's this one. No.
Oh. oh I found it. Okay. Now I'm putting this in here. I'm going to play make a sink and see message. The Democrats have been bitching about Trump, right? Uh-huh. And they're like, oh, the Democrats are all older. The people ain't getting paid. Oh, they're not getting paid. They need to get paid. Uh-huh. They need to get paid. Uh oh. Come on, phones. I'm trying to listen to this Mr. Ginsey message, but the phones are not having it. Lincoln. So, the Democrats have been bitching about Trump, right? Mm hmm. And they're like, oh, Democrats are all older. The people ain't getting paid. They want to get paid. Oh, they're not getting paid. We need to get paid. Don't you want to get Come paid, on, Mr. Gensu? And then I just heard, it may be a mistake, but I just heard that 250 or 216 <laughs> Democrats voted against paying the people they owe while and letting the shutdown continue. Why don't they leave right? the government shut down forever? Oh, but So that right there just freaking tells you that every fucking thing you hear talking against Trump is bullshit. I had not following your logic, Mr. Ginsu. That's all there is to it. It's all bullshit. Made up. And that's the way it is. Made it up. Everything, though, right? They're making it up as they go along. Everybody just is. Just about fucking shit. Just to take your attention away from what's actually happening. So, not that you'll ever find out what's actually happening. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, what is actually um, happening, Mr. Gensu? You may, if you dig around, but pretty much right now, nah. nah, nah. What's actually uh, happening? I think other bullshit. Uh, you. And, uh, yeah. Shut this fucker down for about fucking six months and see what the Democrats fucking think about having a job and they, next time we hire people for their job. And I'm a Democrat. Uh, I don't like what Democrats are doing. They're, not, Democrat? they're doing it without me. Why are you a hardcore Democrat? Whatever Democrats are doing, they're doing it without me. Without my fucking backing, because I ain't backing that shit. Yeah, damn. Why well, are you a Democrat? But then the Republicans are the same way. They would do the same exact fucking thing if they thought it would fucking help them. So, they're both the same. They're just showing you the true colors right about now. Uh, uh, and that's all there is to it. Because I've been a Republican before. Back when I was a kid, I was raised Republican. And I heard the little fucking things. Behind, and whenever you go to the fucking meeting, it's like, oh yeah, how about that shit? Get all sorts of freaking shit come out of the mouth of people. Uh huh. Well, Mr. Gintz, you got timed out. Getting political, though. Lots of politics. Plala Politilux, that's what I call him. Lots of Plala 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 Alright, let's call Friday Producer. Let's find out production ends going. It's night time. Uh, the phones are weak right now. Why are the phones so weak? It's hard to know. Please leave your mess.
Message for Gobler. Gobler. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hey, you can call us back. Goodbye. Okay, hey, uh, program. Here we are on TV once again. Once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and lift. And lift. Happening. I'm alive. Are you? And I am. Really though? Guys yes. Black. Yeah, it's nighttime. Night. Nighttime. Like specifically, black as night. Not black like as night. Dark as night. Kind of metaphor about black sky. Ooh, I remember like watching nighttime. this tape like last week, but not the week before, like experiencing it. The night was dark. At night. The night was the dark night as night. Dark the night, night was dark as night. I'm gonna tell a story about something that I saw earlier. Mm -hmm. ring stuck in your finger? That's no good. Uh huh. Then what? Finger on two by four. Before you know it, what? Dr. King whacked his finger off. I'm going to whack my finger off. Cleaver. And they use like, ouch! The blood starts squirting. And they go with the <laughs> And Dr. Jenny's like, okay, you're ringing, it's not on your finger no more. Oh, wait, somehow. Uh, other things. Put a couple of stitches in that. Uh huh. And scream louder. Hurt. Hurt the birch. Hurt the birch. He's like, okay. You have to call me in the morning. I have no fingers. You chopped off my fingers. Okay. 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 Why is it showing the phone number back there? Are you changing the date? Here's Alex is uh, asking for help with Google Voice. You need some help? It's doing like a weird thing where it says we're now gonna call your cell phone and then it's gonna connect you. No KFC this week. That you just dialed that you wanted to call. Mm -hmm. But I know that you guys just type the number in the computer and then it just calls from the computer. Yeah. So as long as you can help me out. Thanks so much. Bye. Mm. I can help you out. Uh, I hate KFC last week too. Yeah. No more oh, KFC that, for a while. I guess. But, uh, Wednesdays is KFC day. Not anymore. I might have messed you up last time. That KFC. I don't know. You're not coughing though. Last week. Here we don't even have to. Two weeks ago, not coughing. Definitely not coughing. But last week, I thought maybe. But mm -hmm. maybe it's gonna start developing soon. Well, outside when it's nighttime. I haven't been out there. You calling Alex? Uh, what are we gonna do today? Uh, okay. Oh, we looked at all the tape yesterday. Hi, you reached Alex. Now I'd love you to leave me a message. Hi, this is Alex, and I would love to you leave me a message. Record your message after the tone. Simply hang up when done. Or for delivery options, 
Press the pound sign. Hey, Alex, Hello, it's, Alex the it's the program. It's the program. We're on TV. Uh, uh, play with the phone you. tag. I don't know if you ever answer. Back and forth. Uh, I can answer some questions about Google Voice, probably. But I'm maybe on the phone. So call us back again. More. And we'll play some more phone tag. Okay, bye. More phone tag. All right, Alex is called. Let's take a look at 2016 and 17 and 18 and the recent times. Here we go. Look at all these tapes. They're just right here. Laid out. That's good. Yeah, Carl like talks about the Iron Curtain. Carl knows about the Iron Curtain. The Iron Curtain. So, curtain that iron. Yeah, Carl cracks himself up a lot. And, and I talk about Iron Pirate. We're on every night at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TV Channel 22. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Iron Thank Pirate. You. You're welcome. McDonald's. You can come by. Hi, 2017. Hi. Hello. Yeah, we we're still here. How long have we been in this studio? I guess at least three years. 2016, 17, 18, and now 19. Or this is our third year. This makes it two years at least. Wait. 16 to 17, that's one year. And then 17 to 18, that's one year. And then 18 to 19. So we've been here for three years. Wow. All right, 16 years, 17. Uh, you gonna be there for that one, Freddie? Uh, yes, I am. Jackson's here. We talked to All about right. to yell a fellow about politics. Oh yeah, it's a it's a scary world out there right now. That's kind of what we're about, about that love, his lost love, and uh, I think he should move on and find new love. Giving up on oh, new hell love no, for old hell love. No. Not gonna happen. Not in this fucking life. We said hi to ourselves in 2016, and I'm gonna say hi 2018. Oh, uh, what's up, 2018? How's it doing there? Oh no, we're not supposed to ask 2018. It's 2019 now. Right now. Whenever I get married, probably. I hope it's better in the in the new year. I want to come to your wedding, Mr. Ginsu. Good luck. I'll invite you too. All right. Bye. Mr. Ginsu's gonna get paid. On the phone. Is that Oprah voice? Uh, that was 17. Next is 18. That's this one. Water in them. Sometimes when I walk, they squish. My shoes they squish. squish. Hey, future, it's up. Hey, if my, your shoes squish because of the water. Bye. 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 My shoes are a little bit wet. There's some uh, water in them. That's too bad. When I walk, they squish. My shoes they squish. squish. Hey, future, it's us of the past. Um, it's it's uh, very dry though. Well, maybe it I'm just used to Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm, yeah, 23rd. Let's in the replay. Uh, you can be alive. Are you alive? I hope you are. I got all my fingers and life is great. Bye. Bye. I think I feel. Yeah, life is great. All right. Well, I guess we're going to call Grandma to, to. You know, we still got some time. But. Time for grandma, and this is time for yellow phone. If it's too late, yellow phone, you gonna answer the phone at nighttime? Hey, you turn off your phone at night, right? That's what you should do. When was the AV? Was that last? I think we were
Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. 61090 is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more Hello, options. All 2019. Movie, Yo, like, fellow, calls back. Probably even farther back than that. Bye. They've all been uh, people who already know the number. Huh? Asso associates, if you will. And confer with my associates. Who are you calling? So, Hey, program, I'm driving. I'll call you back in just a second. Okay, bye. Alright, uh, Freddy's gonna call us back. Call the number. After he's done driving, I guess. I'm an associate. Yeah, because it ends up showing up. Let's look at look full at on. Let's try to think of what I saw. Right. Look at the tape first. It was raining. Uh, ah. Get to it. Ah. I'm looking at 2016. Look at my jacket. <laughs> uh oh, that's the first coffee you ever had. You can tell Freddie about the four four weeks Hi, calendar. Hi, Grandma. How are you? How are you? I'm okay. Yeah? Sleepy? How are you? Good. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm just sitting here. Yeah? I'm downtown. Okay. What did you do? What did you do today? To, huh? What did you do today? I don't know. No, you don't know. Did you go mahjong? No. Did you play mahjong? Yeah. Did you? I play mahjong. Yeah. Did hey. you? Did you win? Talking under the head. Did you win mahjong though? No, she didn't go. She didn't go to mahjong. <clears throat> nope. Why? No one picked her up. It's Mahjong Day though, right? Yeah. But nobody, why didn't no one pick her up? Town. Her friend's out of town, so her other friend was going to pick her up, and they never did. Which one, Mary? Yeah. Huh. No, no, not Mary. You just played Mahjong with her at the house? Uh, nope. Why not? I don't want to play Mahjong. Yeah, maybe she'll show you. Uh, yeah. Maybe. What'd you do? Did you go? You didn't go to Mahjong? No, I didn't do anything today. You didn't leave the house? Um, uh, she had a doctor's appointment. You took her to the doctor? Mm-hmm. How'd it go? You know her eyes messed up? Yeah. So uh, apparently uh, her eyelid folds inwards. What? So her, yeah, her eyelid folds inwards, and so her eyelashes were scraping her eyeball. Really? <laughs> what yeah. they do? It's real. Did they flip him? She, they just like. The doctor shined a light in her eye uh -huh. and had her look at the light and she like had her like face the light yeah. and look around and then hold her head still and then look around in different directions. Uh-huh. And they uh, figured it out. What well, what'd they do? What do you mean? Did they flip her eye back? No, they just... The doctor just looked at the guy. But, uh, well, it's going to be a problem, though. Don't they got to fix it? Yeah, they pulled out all the eyelashes out of her eyelid. Really? On the bottom. They pulled them out? Yeah. So now she doesn't have any eyelashes? <laughs> On the bottom eyelid. Is that weird? Uh, but, uh, no, you can't see bottom eyelids. Aren't they going eyelash to come back, though? Yeah, it sounds like a hassle because the doctor's like, now you have to come back every month. <laughs> what? <laughs> your eyelid. They can't just like, like uh, flip her eyelid. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, no. And you go get your eyelashes removed every month? I guess. That seems kind of crazy, yeah. Uh, what? That's what she said. That's not good. <laughs> what? Did they, did they check, test her blood pressure? No. They didn't? No, I just went for um, eye examination. Eye exam. Just because her eyes been weird, so then they just said that her in eyelids are inside out. Yeah. Well, it looks like your eyelids are inside out. You don't want your body parts to be inside out. That's why I can't. Eyelids are inside out. So apparently, when you get old, your, eye your eyelids get lazy. Uh-huh, and they flip. They're acting up. That's no good. Mm-hmm. How are your eyelids? Mine seem like they're okay. Yeah, I don't think mine are turning against me quite yet. I'm not flipping inside and scratching my eyeballs. What? Yeah, I don't think they're flipped. I think they're the right way. Yeah. I think my my right eye closes more than my left eye. Oh, A yeah? Bit. A little bit. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Was that with the grandma's eyes too? Mmm, no. Where is her left eye? Because only one eye that's messed up, right? Yeah, or it's her eyelid. It's a, it's is a, it her left eye or right eye? Left eyelid. Bo left bottom eyelid. Huh, okay, because my right eye is, would be the one that would get messed up, I think. <laughs> oh, with the, with the, whatchamacallit? The closing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Eczema. Eczema, yeah, I had eczema over there, and but now it's gone. Did you see a uh, glass? No. Did uh, you? I read the. No, but I, I heard the twist already. Yeah. You just read the Wikipedia articles and all those movies, huh? <laughs> well, actually, th this time, this time I watched a couple of YouTube reviews. I watched the uh, half in the bag one. And oh, yeah. then, uh, I just can't. One. I can't bring myself to like look at that stuff without seeing the movie first. Even no matter how <laughs> terrible the movie is gonna be, <laughs> you just you can't do it. Yeah, it's really like yeah. Even like if it's a really really shitty movie, like a lot of effort and time and money, millions, just, millions, millions and millions of dollars. It's crazy. Yeah. Like minimum. Like five. Ah, I, no. I heard that that guy is this like making, he's like actually producing his own movies. He's like paying out of his yeah. own pocket. Yeah. yeah, well, like, uh, did his movies actually not do well, like in the box office? I know they're all critic critical disasters or whatever, but I feel like, like I know Avatar. That movie made a lot of money. Oh yeah, everybody hated it, but it made money anyway. Yeah, so, like, why was he kicked out of Hollywood? His movies actually must have started losing money at some point. I bet. I mean, what about, like, The Happening or whatever? Yeah, it was probably that Will Smith, like, family movie. It was, like, or it was, like, him and his kid, After Earth, I think. Yeah, I don't even remember that one. Yeah, he made a movie with Jaden Smith and Will Smith, and it was supposed to be, like, one of the worst movies ever. It won all the Razzies. <laughs> I mean, it, it was pretty, pretty awful. His movies got really awful. And I remember seeing, I saw The Village in the theater. I hate that movie. It was so, so horrible. And I was like, one of the only times I ever left the theater, and I was like, I'm kind of mad that I watched yeah. that. The Village, the Village came out, like, probably, like, 2005 or 2006 yeah. or something. And then... Uh, Avatar came out in 2009, I think. It was Maybe after. Yeah, way after, but, uh, Avatar made a lot of money, so The Village made a lot of money. So yeah. He, he probably, he probably, like, what, when did he get kicked out of Hollywood? Like, 2013? I don't know. Well, I don't know, but don't he, know. he made that movie, The Visitor, about the grandma. I never saw that one. Did you see that one? No. I know, I almost went to go see Glass. 
Like I was thinking about seeing glass, but then I. I want to see it. You still do want to see it? Yeah, because uh, Split was a good movie. You see Split? I did not see Split, but I I was gonna I almost watched. I was gonna I was like I'm gonna go watch Glass, but then I watched I went and watched Unbreakable, which I thought I had liked that movie because I remember back in the day I thought I liked it. But it was real bad. I thought it was real bad. I was like, man, this is real bad. <laughs> because uh, the internet or the YouTube critic who's not half in the bag that I watch, that guy loves it. He loves Unbreakable? Yeah, he loves Unbreakable, but he's kind of a stupid, I don't know, critic. I don't know. He's okay. He's Chris Stuckman. Have you heard of that guy? I probably recognize him. Yeah. But, uh, I, don't I, I don't know, Unbreakable was pretty awful, and even... Even if you go back and watch The Sixth Sense, it's kind of awful, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the Sixth Sense has such a big twist that you can't, like, it's unwatchable. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, but it still, it seems like, like, I don't know, like, it seems like it would be a good, though, even though you watch it, you can just say, you can just, like, this is real bad. It's just like, you can just tell <laughs> somehow. It's really really bad it's just like really oh. bad and everybody liked that movie but it's really bad if you actually go back and take a look at it so i don't know i think Funny. i can't i don't think i can see glass and i don't know if i'm gonna watch it or but you say that split was good uh i think it was good i don't know i, I, I kind of half watched it a couple of years ago huh? I, was like, oh my. I don't know it looks real bad yeah. if... it's, on, it's on youtube actually split? And i watch it right now about on, yeah, full movies. Why is it on YouTube? Because YouTube has full movies. For free? Yeah. It's got Split. He's trying to get people to watch Glass, so he put Split on for free on YouTube? Uh, preview only. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Never yeah. mind. Not on there, but there are a lot of... Uh, if you type in free movies, there's a lot of free movies on YouTube. Hmm. Well, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but he... Uh, he, he put in 20 million of his own money or something like that, so I heard. Yeah, I bet he made it back. Yeah. I think he already did. Yeah, it made a lot of money. I looked it up. It made, like, 80 million, I think. Yeah, but what's like when, well, how much money do you get back, though, when you are the producer? Like oh, all... probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Seems like people will just go see a movie if it's in the theater. You're just like, oh, I'm going to go. Some people just go to the movies in general. You're like, I'm not choosing the movie I'm going to go to. I want to go see something. Then you go there and you look at the thing and you pick when you get there. Hello? <laughs> you know what? Hello? Yeah, hello? Break it up. Uh-oh. Okay. People. Yeah. People go to the, the theater, and then they don't they don't know what movie they're gonna watch, and then they pick when they get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people do that, yeah. So you're gonna get that money back? Uh, I don't know. There's a there's a lot of really shitty movies out there too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's all all pretty bad. I don't know what I'm gonna. What I want to see next in the theaters. Something. Don't go. Just don't go to the theaters. Stop supporting them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about how, like, all that. I think I've told you about this, but the money, like, $20 million, and then they make a movie. And it's like, yeah. what? what is resources and what is money at that point? Oh, what are they spending twenty million on? Yeah, because you could like if you I, this is what I you can you could either like if you spent twenty million dollars on a farm. Yeah. It's like you would have a, a really good farm. Really, really, really good farm. Yeah. It's like that farm is great. It's a twenty million dollar farm, but then instead you spend twenty million dollars, and after you're done, you have like data. You know the farm on Inception. Mm. Or uh, what is that movie? Uh, yeah, he sold no. he sold the money, the crops back or something. Yeah. Yeah. 
But that was a farm, because that was the size of a farm and it was real. Yeah. He I guess that was probably like, that's probably only like one acre or something. He actually like did a, the like farming a, thing. But yeah. it's, yeah, it was like after you spend $20 million, though, and then you have a movie, which is just is nothing. You What are you going to do with a movie? So you yeah. could have, like, fed, you could have fed a bunch of people or whatever. <laughs> I know Jim, Jim Carrey, back in the day, I think $20 million, I think that was his salary for movies. Yeah. So it's like, oh. it's like instead of spending... That money on the farm, you just put it, and now you have a movie. It's like, what is what is a movie, and what is money? Where does money go, and what is resources and money at that point? So, it's, it's kind of... It could all be just be floating around. Maybe it's all just a month of credit. Like, it was, like, stock or something. Yeah, all that money is just floating around, but it's supposed to represent, like, things at some point. But it... It, it represents a, a film. <laughs> Yeah. No. It all it all uh, came together in the form of a film. I guess they still call it a film. It's all <laughs> computers. I don't know. Yeah, I, how much does CG cost? Why? That's like that's another question. Why? Did, why is CG so expensive? Oh, the they just like throw. Yeah, they just throw a bunch of people at it. That's all the CG is. Just like. Every frame, people are like, like just like doing a little detailed work on it. it. Just takes a lot of people to do all that stuff. So that's an expensive and paying people. Cause you know when you watch a movie now with the credits, one of those fancy uh, yeah. uh, computer movies, yeah, and then credits. the credits are crazy. Suppose, yeah. There's like five col five columns of people going for like 15 minutes. Yeah. All those computer people, they're all just like doing a couple of frames or whatever. Lots of people. Is there, uh, Sh Shyamalan is like the only guy in Hollywood who's doing like original screenplays for the stuff. Oh, what do you mean? He's the only one writing movies that he directs? That are not based on books. Oh, I guess Tarantino does that. Never mind. Isn't like everybody do that? And then most people, most people's movies, or most movies in general, are based on books. I'd or, say or I'd say it's about 50-50. No. What sequel? Like <laughs> sequels or not sequels? Yeah, 90% is either either a sequel or based on a book or just not original. 90%. You know? What's in the theater right now? <laughs> That's my guess. I don't know. Mm, uh, I'm going to say 50. 50? Yeah. So fifty, I guess, would be like every other movie is is that I original. That makes, but what's uh, there, there's a lot of, the people are just saying words and getting into <laughs> conflicts and using music and stuff. I mean, how many? How, what's original and what's not anymore? Eh? Uh, Kevin Smith, uh, Clerks is Clerks uh, is celebrating the twenty fifth anniversary. 25th okay. anniversary. Okay. Yeah, that's original. First is original. It's only 25. I think it's more than that. I think it's 25. Well, it came out in 94. Yeah. Wait, 94, 2004, <laughs> 2014. Oh yeah, 25. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it works out. The math. The math works out. Oh, yeah, yeah, because Sunday is in January. It's uh, 25 years, 94, till now. Oh, I missed. I only go to Sundance one year. I missed it again. What, you missed Sundance? Yeah. You were going to go this year? No, I just want to go every year. You want to go every year? Sure. Yeah. Sure. You want to see the new movies? Where is yeah. that? In Hollywood? 
Utah. Park City, Utah. Utah. Yeah. I don't you know why. You can't even buy uh, full, fully alcoholic beer in Utah. It's in Utah. Why would it not be in Hollywood? I don't know. Ask uh, Robert Redford. He started it? Yeah, it's Sundance Kid. Bush Cassidy. Oh, yeah. Wait, is he the guy from the solid dressing? Yeah, Paul Newman. Oh, that's Paul Newman. That's not Robert Redford, though. I think he's with... Uh, oh, he's Butch Cassidy? Yeah, I forget who he's too. Who's too. Which one's the salad dressing guy? I don't know. <laughs> I know Paul Newman is the dressing guy, but I don't know if he's the, the kid or Butch. Did he uh, make that salad dressing himself? Yep. I'll uh, make my salad dressing. Each, each bottle handmade by him. Come to eat my salad dressing. He's, he's uh, dead, though. He's dead? Do they still keep his face on the salad dressing? Yeah, zombies. Yeah, dressing. they should make it a skull. <laughs> or have his face yeah. be rotten. Yeah. <laughs> he's, zombie, he's dead. They still use, uh... They still use Dave. I know they use Colonel Sanders is dead. And he, he gets like, he's like a character now. I think I, I bet a lot of people think Colonel Sanders is just like Ronald McDonald. Oh, no, he's a real guy. Well, I think they had, I feel like they had ads or, like, retro ads. They just put their, like, the original guy. What, with Dave? Dave Thomas? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Hey, Dave! Oh, that, that was funny. Dave Thomas, why do you like your burgers square? Why? I don't know. <laughs> he never uh, answered? Well, he probably had an answer. I was going to ask him because he, he said you were talking to Dave. Do they Hi, stick Dave. out? When you get the Wendy's burgers, do they stick out the patty? Because it never seems like you're like missing out on spots, but it like wouldn't fill up the whole, the whole thing. Like, is he actually like skimping out on those like little round parts and like does that save like overall like a lot of money because like if you cut that off like a whole bag that's like a whole that's like a, a quarter of the, of the saving a quarter of the beef is, is he cutting it down or is he adding more yeah it seems like it, it seems cutting like it's cutting <laughs> i don't know it, it's good though i've never been like oh I'm, I, I want these burgers not enough meat in them Where's the beef? But how do they do it? Because when you have a regular burger, I know it's not how it actually is, but it's supposed to be like you just take like a, a, a chunk of, you know, ground beef and then you just kind of flatten it. And that's what a burger is supposed to be. Yeah, so why make it a square? And that's why it's a, cir it's a circle that way, but that's not how they do it in any place they have the patties preformed like way. So they have to cut it off. Because the square is not normal. Yeah, well, they say it's. All, they also say that it's never frozen. Yeah, that's their thing. Which is, I don't really trust that. It's like, why? Why don't you just freeze it? They should freeze it. Um. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. Well, free. Yeah, nothing wrong with freezing it, and I think it's actually better because otherwise, it's like, what the heck? It's like, what are you doing if you're not freezing it? If it's never frozen. That means that. Uh, it can't be that old. Yeah, also, it might be, I, I don't know, I don't trust not frozen stuff. Uh, we're gonna record a message to the future. Alright. Hey, future, just the past. Hey, future, what's up with those square burgers from fucking Wendy? They're cutting it off? They're cutting you off? They're whipping you off? Uh, okay, bye, future. It's Wednesday. What'd you eat? What'd you eat today? Oh. Get a free pizza. It's a free pizza day at Pop Murphy's. Really? Free pizza? Yeah, for some reason, if you uh, if you text 
it's if you, I don't know, they gave you like if you if you order online, it's a coupon for a large five topping, uh, free pizza, free large five topping pizza, and you don't have to buy anything. I don't know what what the what and you did that and it worked. Fuck that. Yeah. But that's just today. Yeah, and and if I if I went with you, then we could have gotten two larges. What? Yeah. Well, I, I guess I missed it. They're probably closed already. <laughs> All right, bye. Yeah, please. All right, bye. Show's over. Thanks for watching. It's Wednesday. We're on uh, TCTV Channel 22, 11.30 and 2 a.m. Check it out. YHWM.com. Yeah. 360836234. Call me message. Get on TV. Go on State Avenue number three. Check it out. Yeah. Fun singer. It's a good song. Thank you. Ooh, brutal. TCT with the baby, Jordy Fabulous, Graham Graham, Sucks Black Condor, Mokster, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. And viewers, if you're watching, thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.